everyone, and good afternoon, good afternoon to our PD teacher. Um, today, I want to introduce uh, our group trip is Welcome to Taiwan, Barbara uh, to Formosa. And my name is Daniel. Uh, I want to introduce my, uh, my group mate, and the boy is Sophie. He made a wonderful SWOT analyze. And the next one is my partner, Jody. He will introduce with me. And the last one is Wendy. He made a wonderful PowerPoint. And today, I have to, I have to introduce a uh, brief part. Number one part is to, um, you are not sorry, it's a kind of a very kind of food, like Chinese food from Shanghai, and the uh, sweet fruit, and Chinese, um, uh, Chinese food in night market. And we also have an original food, so you know what? We can enjoy all of this in our trip. And next one is the house break. Um, we all know Taiwan has a um, wonderful geological resource, so let's make a uh, uh, different kind of material of spring. And the last one is stone. Uh, geological uh, geological makes a beautiful landscape and a uh, uh, nature stone. So I want to introduce these three parts, stone, spring, and food to you. So welcome to Taiwan, or welcome to Formosa. <laughs> And this is our outline. Our outline, the first one is three features. Uh, second one is travel route. And number three is risk management. And number four is spot analysis. And last uh, is conclusion. And if you have any question, you can ask in Q&A. So welcome to Taiwan, or welcome to Formosa. So please, Judy, okay. introduce for me. Thanks for ending our introduction. And now we're going to the second part, which is travel itinerary. You can see the first day we will stay in Taipei in the morning after launch we will go to Ilan and we will stay in Ilan at night. And the first stop we will go to Longshan Temple. Longshan Temple has many Chinese traditional stone carving culture and architectural culture and that with dragon pillars and a stone, stone cut window. At lunch we will take everyone to Ding Hai Fong. Ding Hai Fong is the famous Nature, nature scenery. 
And next exhibition, we will go to the Juming uh, Museum. Juming Museum has a many stone carving. The stone carving is very famous in the international. And in the night, we go to the Shin night night market. We enjoy the Chinese food and the sweet fruit. Sweet fruit. And uh, we go to we go to the uh, Royal Seasons Hotel in Beito. And it's um, it's really famous for uh, this, the resource is from the so it have a, a different kind of material and you and how you enjoy it. In the back then we go to the National Palace Museum and we will see the two very uh, two very famous ones. The number one is a uh, mid-shaped stone. It's like a real uh, re, uh, real meat. And the next one is JD Cabbage. Uh, JD Cabbage uh, on the lid have uh, two bugs and one box on the lid. Please try. Uh, please, you know, please join our trip, and you can check. And in a, in a, in a, uh, about lunch, we go to the Silk Palace at National Palace Museum, and you can all the things in the morning. You look, you can eat at lunch. So, and it, this is our trip, and our project. Uh, everyone is uh, you. New Taiwan dollar in one thousand and six, oh, ten thousand and sixteen thousand and eight hundred and forty-six. So, next is our spot analysis. So I will, uh, I will talk about spot analysis to analyze advantages and disadvantages for our program. So first one is strength, and next is weakness. Third is opportunities, and the last one is threats. Okay, uh, the first one is threats. Uh, in this tourism program, we will have some special things to. We will have some special things that are different from others. We will lead you to discover Taiwan's beauty. We will, uh, you will have a uh, hot spring every night and uh, visit uh, and uh, taste variety of food. Uh, besides, you can you can see many amazing amazing scenery, especially stone. And the next one is fitness. Though it is a perfect, though it is a perfect uh, program, we still have some weak points. Uh, the weather is, un is unstable in eastern Taiwan, and our trip is a little bit tired for those whose physical strength is not so good. Still, hot spring has low season and high season. The third one is opportunities. Uh, the local government supports the tourism industry, and uh, we have some. We have many beautiful natural attractions in North East and the East and the Eastern Taiwan. This always takes people's attention. The last one is stress. As I mentioned before, the weather is a big problem in our trip. And some sitting spots uh, would, might be destroyed by natural power, but most of them are destroyed by human beings. So about this SWOT analysis, on how to win solve this problem. For the opportunity and the stress, the as all, the government can combine with local industry to develop that situation. For stress and the for stress and stress, uh, public authority should make the law and uh, the tour guides should advise the tourists not to destroy anything. And third, for opportunity, for opportunities and weakness, uh, we will prepare a rent program and uh, do the low season promotions to prevent uh, accidents. And last, the weakness and the stress. Uh, we, uh, weather station should provide more complete details about weather reports so we can make the correct decision. And this, uh, when we will talk about risk management. I will show you the risk management. And the first part 
men are jacket. And uh, because of the more and more new technology, new technology, and uh, people now all has fundamental more knowledge, so they could so they protect themselves more and more, more than before. And and so we should estimate the uh, risk more precisely and more detailed than before. And concerning to the um, treatment for the risk, um, we, we have three measures. First is clean out the risk. The second is um, make the risk as possible, as small as possible. And third is transfer the risk. Second part, liability and damage control. Um, we should have management, we should have management policy and management and management organization and uh, indeed management check. And after after this, we should have a clear and detailed return procedures to avoid some little mistakes. And after clear Return procedures. We should have prepare a personal um, personal checklist to check ourselves what we didn't finish and um, and what are we what are and what we are not ready. So we have to after this we have to train the faculty such like tour guide and. Uh, Teach the tourist members, for example, when we are on the bus, in the beginning we should um, watch a video, watch a video uh, about how to watch a video how to deal with the car accident. And moreover, make the contract well. It could avoid some unnecessary um, dispute and liability. Above all, having a complete audit system for risk management is very important and essential. Third part, execution matters. Uh, first part, internal control. Um, in this part, we have four points. Um, the first point is uh, accommodation and the restaurant safety checking. And second point is the safety consideration, for example, traffic and weather and so on. And third point, education about the uh, accident treatment for uh, insurance. And external control. In the external control, we have two points. First is uh, we should have we should have a test and audit to in the cooperation with other companies. And second point, we should have um, traffic safety checking. And that's all my risk management. Now we let turn to Danny. Okay, thanks. Um, yeah, that's part of our Q&A. And thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please ask me, please. <laughs> <laughs> we have 40 minutes, so we have, we have another time, so please ask me questions. Oh, thank you. I forgot what's your acronym. 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 This. <laughs> <laughs> um,
employee will finish our class at 3.30. Would that be okay to you guys? 30. 3.30. Do you still have class though? Well, I remember our group nine, and they will introduce a core in the 